Welcome to the Creation Today Show, where we bring together interviews with experts and solid Bible teaching. Your host, Eric Hovind, affirms the ultimate authority of God's Word, the truth of creation. Donnie from Canada, Matt from California. Thank you, guys. Uh, how long have you guys been doing the Standing for Truth uh, uh, YouTube channel? We've been doing it for about five years now. And every day is an adventure, brother. I love it. No kidding. All right, Donnie, you got to kick us off here. What have we discovered in 2024 that is making evolutionists like scream because it's totally changing the narrative? What's going on? Uh, Eric, 2024, some new data came out that just completely dismantles everything we know about evolution, everything we know about ancestry. And so here on the screen, you'll notice, and this is so cool, this is a, a, a visual. This is a visual representation of the great ape chromosomes, Y chromosomes to be specific. Now, years ago, going back, I think to about 2010, they had Y chromosomal uh, sequencing data. And even back then they knew that the Y chromosomes between humans and chimpanzees were very dissimilar. They were not nearly as similar as they thought that they should be because the evolutionary model, the conventional model of origins suggests that humans and chimpanzees go back to a common ancestor about 6 million years ago. And that's where you can see here. Now they have a visual representation of the Y chromosomes. Now they do have humans here because evolutionary taxonomists, they believe that humans are a great ape. You'll oftentimes hear them say, well, we are apes, right? Well, I beg to differ. Maybe they are, we're not. And this is actually a piece of evidence that suggests that we're not. And so you can see the human Y chromosome here represented visually and the chimpanzee Y chromosome represented visually. And so as you can see, they are very, very different. And they knew this going back years ago, you know, this uh, image here you can find from 2017. When you consider overall architecture, gene content and size differences, Eric, the human and chimpanzee Y chromosome, according to this data, going back to about 2017, is only about 35% the same. How can evolutionists, proponents of evolution, explain such massive differences in just six million years since the hypothetical split? Now, I, in just, I just did a show with uh, John Harris and we ended up going to Orlando and doing this Evolution is Impossible tour. And we were talking about the genetic variance between apes and humans because we're always thought we're only 1% different or two to 3% different. And last I heard it was 15%. I mean, in this specific chromosome, you're talking about a 70% difference. It's fascinating, Eric. And that's why I say it's, it's a great time to be a biblical creationist. The Y chromosome, <clears throat> it is what's called uniparentally inherited DNA. So what that means is it's inherited only on one side. And the side that it's inherited on is the male side. So for example, I have two sons. They have my Y chromosome. And so you basically can track back Y chromosomes, Eric, in an unbroken line. And if you take Y chromosomes worldwide, take every single male Y chromosome on the planet, you can actually line them up, you can compare them, and they've all originated from a single Y chromosomal ancestral sequence, which we would say is Y chromosome NOAA. And that's considering the diversity in it, extremely low genetic variation, one Y chromosome worldwide it's it's amazing and then when we bring in the chimpanzee y as you can see here it's nothing like the human y chromosome and this is where it gets even better so 2024 they came out with even more sophisticated sequencing data on the y chromosome this uniparentally inherited dna compartment and as you can see here visually this is from the Conventional literature, the complete sequence and comparative analysis of the ape sex chromosomes. And if you go down to the human Y and compare it to the chimpanzee Y using this graph, you're looking at even less than the 35%. So 2024, 2025, it's not getting any better 
for proponents of evolution. That kind of evolution, Eric, that says whales, pine trees, chimpanzees are related. Because if by evolution you mean change over time, we're not against that. And so by evolution, we mean common descent. 26.2% the same. That's incredibly dissimilar and unexpected if evolution's true. Evolutionary scientists have been flabbergasted over this data, but biblical creationists, we should rejoice because what this does is it, it confirms the biblical model of ancestry. As we understand from the Bible, humans and chimpanzees are not related through, through common ancestry. So 2024 has been an excellent year for biblical creation. It is, I'm looking at this data. You're very, very different. And uh, if you guys have, have you guys ever heard of Haldane's Dilemma? Have you guys studied that? Absolutely. Okay, that's what we did that whole show on with John Harris. John Harris is on here saying hey to everybody. Hey, John. Uh, man, John, great show and great time in Orlando. We got to do that again. Uh, to get, I mean, when you take, uh, like, how many, how big is that Y chromosome and how many mutations would it take to go from um, where humans are at and where chimps are at and get that 70 to 80% change in the Y chromosome? You're talking about very, very fast, rapid change in the Y chromosome to go from an ape-like Y chromosome to a human Y chromosome. We don't have time to make that happen. That's exactly right. There's far too many differences there. Again, the, the chimpanzee Y chromosome, if you look carefully at the photo, it's only half the size. There's this specific DNA material here. This is called heterochromatin. It's all uh, color coded. That's a very specific type of DNA. It's densely packed DNA comprises what's called satellite sequences, a lot of repetitive DNA. You'll see that it's mostly absent in the chimpanzee Y chromosome and the bonobo Y chromosome. And so it's, it's half the size. So right off the bat, you're starting with 50%. The gene content's different. The architecture is different. And so that's why I like to say when you consider everything, Eric, that's what we want to consider, everything, because we're not assuming common ancestry between humans and chimpanzees. Consider architecture, size differences, and gene content. You're now looking at, according to the latest data, less than 30% the same. And that is a massive problem because as you said, and looking to a problem like Haldane's dilemma or the waiting time problem, how do you explain such radically different Y chromosomes in the evolutionary timescale? You, you can't.